one of the biggest challenges in monitoring uh, animals is that people ask for numbers. People want to know numbers about animals across a country, across a state, across a region. But these large scale estimates of numbers are almost impossible to derive. Uh, because of logistical difficulties, this could be because of technical difficulties. The resources invested are impossible to find. Animal numbers may be very low to really get at them reliably. So what we end up doing is estimating numbers at small scales like reserves very accurately using methods like camera trapping or line transits, then extrapolating them to these large areas using simpler counts like tracks of animals or which can be done without much investment of resources or uh, skills. Now the problem has been how do you marry these two sets of data? The traditional approaches used have relied on some very old statistical methods that go back to 1930s. They simply don't work and we have demonstrated that they don't work. But people tend to use them and because of that most of the numbers of tigers, elephants, uh, lions that you see in the press and widely circulated are simply unreliable. So what we did was to mimic nature more faithfully using a method called Bayesian uh, data integration or Bayesian smoothing which actually combines these two sets of data in a much more complex way but in a much more realistic way to extract more information from them. So although the paper looks extremely complex in terms of the numbers, the complexity comes from the fact that nature is complex and all the problems associated with earlier methods are explicitly highlighted in the mathematics and statistics of this paper so we know where we can go wrong. So it provides the first big step towards further improving these large scale estimates.